Do, 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 do. Previously on Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Whoa! Ow! Oh! Like, underlay, underlay, yeeha, yeeha! You like Speedy Gonzales, man. You being a pain in my butt, I'm telling you what. Uh, oh, excuse me. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this X here real quick, so I'm running out of time. I wanna get some more of these blue coins out of the way. Ew. Every time I look at that, it looks like it has a boogie. A really nasty, raunchy, stinky, sticky, oogie boogie, basically. It's really nasty. Kinda looks like this nose dripping uh, kid that's off of Wind Waker. I forget the name of him, but it's not Tot, because that's the name of the guy that does the crazy Michael Jackson dance. I think it's Neville or something like that. Nope, never mind. Actually, Neville's the name of the ghost you capture in Luigi's Mansion. Anyhow, names aside, what is in a name? Yeah, sorry. I, I used to be able to quote some of William Shakespeare because I had to... Uh, there was part of it I had to memorize. I remember there was like... It's like the introduction. It was something like, Two households, both alike in dignity. And fair of our own, while we lay our seed. Your civil blood... Ah, uh, crap. I messed up the line. But anyway, you get the picture. For those who had to do some William Shakespeare studying. And yeah, I think I'll just probably play through and just splice the video. So I think that, seem, that seems to work a lot better whenever I'm doing these, because then I, my game's not totally thrown off. Ooh, I can get an M for I don't remember, I think there's like four of these in this freaking place. It's crazy. Okay, how many does that make? Oh, we check. Instead of try and guess. Okay, that's 13. Ooh, unlucky number. Well, for some people it is. Some people consider it lucky, like for reverse psychology, or just to be against the crowd or something. And others just genuinely think, hey, that's a lot luckier number than seven, you know? Right, there you are, you blue bird. Come here, you. Ah! No! Bad birdie! Get back here! Come on! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! Pretty bird, pretty bird, pretty bird! Ugh. Land back on the gondola, you little stink. Please? Please! I only spray a little bit. Ugh, really? Do I have to play this play this hide and go seek game with you, bird? Alright, well I'll come back tonight, little fart face. A little flat. See Ugh. I don't know. I just don't even know anymore. There, I'll just get this triangle out of here then. Play some Zelda here. Alrighty, I think it was over there, so let me go ahead and get down here. Plunk! Ooh, it's near banana! The shiz is bananas. B A N A N A N A S. Oh man, that was gonna be a real beast to get to. Uh, let's see. Hopscotch jump, maybe? <laughs> trying to think, what was that name in uh, Homeward Bound? That name that Sassy gave Chance. I'm trying to think of it, actually. I think it was like Flat Face Butt Sniffer or something like that. <laughs> Dude, bird! Come on, man. Ha ha ha! I win! I broke the time or two. Booyah. Alrighty, I think that clears that crap. Let's see here. Camera, come on. Stop aggravating me. Agitate aggravator. Only I'm allowed to do that. You're not allowed. What do you think this is? You think this is Pokemon Snap where you can agitate the crap out of me because I can't take pictures with a flying flip? Seriously. Okay, so. Anyhow, let me get up here on this gondola again and take a look around. Um, yep! I want to go on the backside, actually. Yeah, I think this is basically, this episode is just going to be genuinely, or genuinely, mostly catching the blue coins. We're not catching them. Grabbing them, actually, because there are a boatload of them, as I said. And I think if you come up here... Yeah, there's an extra man. I'm gonna need those. Definitely gonna need those. Ooh, especially how some of these levels are. Oh! This is kind of funny. If you just spray these guys... Do, 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 do. Down you go! There we go. And I jump on this big old lugger, and away they go. Boink. 
do, do, do. Thank you. Alrighty, let me see here. There should be another M over here, I think. Or is it over elsewhere? I don't know. Crap, hold on. Hmm, no, this is the butterfly patch. I'll worry about that later, actually. I think it's off to the side, actually. Yeah, there it is, a little stinker. I knew it was some oasis or some palm tree that was hanging around. Gotta clean this whole park of this nasty handiwork of good old Shadow Mario. Or Junior, I guess, is now we can call him. Alrighty, cool beans. Man, I hope it doesn't rain today. We've been getting a crap load of rain lately. It's been really nasty out lately. I haven't been able to go on my walk ever since... Uh, I think I said, mentioned once, but I actually went on another walk, and I decided to make it interesting and just carry two 10-pound dumbbells. Oh... You want to burn some serious calories, and you want to feel the pain, ladies and gentlemen. If, if you do, or even you don't even have to carry ten pounders. If you carry some weights with you, if you go on like a an hour walk per se, I think I even went on longer than that because I had about thirty. It felt like thirty-five to forty minutes going all the way to my destination, and then I had to walk back. So that's that's basically the time itself doubled. Holy moly, man! I freaking ugh. I felt it in my arms mostly, but I think I, I think my legs were actually the ones that were hurt most because I had all the, I had my 200 some pounds worth of weight I have to carry myself, plus the two 10 pounds that I carry with me, and it's just oh man, it felt good because I'm like yeah, watch me go, baby. Look at me now, I'm burning me some calories, but in other sense, I just oh yeah. Needless to say, I think I slept pretty well that the following night that I did that. I think I need to do that actually more often. I just wish I could do that today. It looks like it's gonna like come down though, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that, but okay. We got our first red coin. All right, there we go. I think that's good enough. We'll worry about the rest of the blue coins for later, or as we go. So I got the first red coin that's underneath that gate. You can jump up there through that, or you can just land on this, punch through here, go underneath there, and yada yada. You get the picture. Second one's right there, and let's go ahead and focus on the pirate ship ones. Yeah, I see you up there. I see you up there. I see what you did there. I get that out of the way. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and just start this off where you're actually supposed to start, where the pirate ship is. I, I, actually, first I'll let you see what these guys say. Here's a little kid. <laughs> Dad! Let's bring a scary one! <laughs> Here's what Dad says. Um, why don't you just go on home? Uh, you'll be just fine. Daddy will uh, stay here and uh, take pictures. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't blame him, though. Blame him for being scared of me. These things do like a freaking 360 every three swings. Yeah, like this guy says. Every three swings, the ship makes a full rotation. Please be careful. Thanks for the warning. Anyway, this was actually the first red coin I meant to grab, but that's alright, this will be third. There are, as I said, three of red coins that are near the ships here. This one right here that's in front of the platform. And then there's one on that side on the first ship, and then I think there's another one on the second ship. Yeah, right over there. The way to kind of do this is to kind of time it just right as you're kind of going up, and then jump. Or not jump. Do like a fancy jump. Oh, whoa, 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 dude, come on. This way you can not only grab onto the red coin, but you also gain new heights and get up on the platforms a little easier. And as he was saying, that every third j uh, swing or whatever, these little stinkers are going to go right around. Oh, dude! It got in the way! What the heck, man? I think that was like the second swing, but anyway. You can actually use the bottoms of them, which will be at the top because, you know, it'll make like the ring of fire in a carnival and just spin around completely. And you can use the bottoms to help you gain new heights if you time your jumps right. You know, I know. Like everybody's gonna be that freaking acrobatic. Ah, dang it. Come on, man. Alternatively, though, if you don't want to use the ships to help you get up to certain heights, you know, you can always just come up here where this roller coaster is even though it's a little tricky to do. And you can just kind of get up on top of these little uh, bars like this, because there's some blue coins, as I said. 
up here, or you can just use these bars to help you get the red coins that are on the... in mid-air, rather, excuse me, at the end of the swings, practically. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get the... finish getting these red coins. Um, when you climb up to this way, you're going to want to come up here and knock these Electric Koopa guys off. Because otherwise, they're going to be a real pain in the booty and just get in your way. They're a lot like the... well, we haven't met them yet, but... For those who have, in Rico Harbor, they're like yellow spiders. They're just... they're a pain. They're in the way. They, their job is to sit there and block your path and annoy the poop out of you. And basically, that's the only way you can go ahead and get rid of them. Oh, jeez, I can't... I gotta go underneath that. Hey, joy. That's gonna be fun. Alright, well, we're gonna stomp you. And we're gonna stomp you, because I don't need you bothering me. And we'll go ahead underneath here. Get ourselves a red coin. Oh, goodness. So I'm excited, actually. I mean, both for meeting my... One, for meeting my brothers, because I get to see them this weekend. And I'm going to have a family reunion and all that jazz, as I mentioned. But I'm also excited because, uh... I heard that I'm going to be having some spaghetti brought to me from leftovers from my dad's place, which is kind of... It puts me in a good mood. Um, do I... Yes, I do! Oh, Sugarfoot. Nope. Oh, oh, wait. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, oh, get... Ah! Oh! Well, there we go. I don't want to have him sit there laughing at me. Ah, ha, 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 you're not going to get me! Because that's what it is. All right, let's go ahead and get that. Ha, ha! Yes! I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy hamburger. 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 The burger! Wait for it. Wait for it. For it. For it. For it. For it. For it. Wait for it. For it. For it. Oh no. Wow, wow. Bow wow, bow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, bow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay. 101 dogs! Yeah! Finally! I achieved my dream goal. Get that stinking blue coin off of there. He was a stinky man. Phew! He must have been sitting up there forever. He, need, he needs to get. I need to wash this blue coin off, man. It's disgusting. It's full of sweat and nastiness. Oh well. Shy! Yay! Woohoo! Alrighty. We did it, team! Hoorah! Uh, oops, excuse me. Victory burp for the win. Alrighty, well that should do it for you for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. And it seems I didn't do video, uh, question of the video for today, so I'll, or last video. So I'll give you a question for today. Alrighty, I got a riddle for you guys. This one is a real brain buster, okay? You're gonna wanna probably get a pencil or a uh, pen, whatever it takes, and something to draw on. Because you're gonna wanna draw this out and picture it, okay? A man starts at home, runs off to the right, stops, turns to his left, runs to his left, stops, runs, uh, turns to his left and runs to his left, again, stops, turns to his left, runs left again, and he comes back home meeting a man with a mask. What is this guy's profession? Give me your best response, guys. Good luck, love y'all, and don't let your tails fly up.